will host a STEM teen cafe at the Antonio Garcia Center. Our Javier Guerra is live out there. And Javi, what's going to happen this weekend? Yeah, Taylor, it is going to be a lot of fun. We are at the Antonio Garcia Center. And yes, we are here with Suraida Nanias James. And Suraida, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Okay, thank you for having me. And so something I want to talk about is I was overhearing the girls talking earlier, and they were talking <laughs> about Plastic Avengers Unite and what that was. Tell me what that is, and tell me why you guys decided to come up with that name. Okay, so this is part of our Unidos in STEM Teen Science Cafe. So we thought it'd be really fun to have something like Plastic Avengers because they are middle school and high school students. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's just a great way, it's a fun way to really bring awareness, educate them, but then also um, know that they can do something about it. And you know, something that's so important is that, you know, we live on the Gulf Coast, right? Uh, it is part of just us. And so in order for us to take care of it, we gotta teach the kids on what they need to do. So tell us a little bit about what you guys are going to talk about this weekend. Okay, so we have various stations um, that are going to be set up for the teens so that they can participate in. We also have graduate students coming in from A&M Kingsville that are working specifically on microplastics, which okay. a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. So again, it's a way for them to engage in all of these activities and then really kind of just learn what microplastics are, what plastics are, what nurdles are. We're going to talk about a lot of that. Um, and then what, again, what they can do, what are those action items that they can take to really take care of our coast, especially with spring break coming up, because yeah. we know there's going to be a lot of trash out there. And these are our Plastic Avengers, right? They're our ambassadors to make sure that they're telling people like, hey, pick up your trash or um, hey, that's not good for the environment. Yeah, and so it's really important, you know, you're talking about spring break, and yes, we know that it's coming up, and we know that sometimes a lot of people leave a lot of trash on our beaches, but guys, look at this. This is just a little example of what Suraida will have for the kids and the teens this weekend, but Suraida, what is this and what kind of activity will this be? So this particular station is teaching our teens about nurdle. So a lot of people don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. It's actually the raw material before all the plastic items yeah. are made. And so they're fine, unfortunately, they're found on our beach. And so if you can sift a little bit, you can see some of what you have on there. Yeah. They're gonna have to sort through all these tiny pieces of trash and plastic to find what we consider, it looks like almost a bead these tiny yeah. little things that you see right here. And so all the students will take home with them this little vial. So as they're on the beach, you know, I know it's, they're trying to have fun, but at the same time, if they see something, they can actually put it in here and just take it out of the beach because we definitely don't want it there. Yeah, and real quick, you know, a lot of the animals that are out there are sea life and of course all the birds, you know, they ingest this and this is not good for them. Absolutely. Um, we have things like this is the type of algae that we have out there. And sometimes our birds and animals mistake it for food. Right? Yeah. They think that it's part of the natural environment when it's not. And so it, it can be very, very harmful to them because this has lots of toxins in it. And so we really don't want our wildlife to be at, you know, caught out there eating things they're not supposed to be eating. Yeah. All right, Sudaida, thank you so much. We're going to have all the information that you need to know on how you can attend this teen cafe coming up in just a little bit.